Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the pulsing heart animation effect using HTML and CSS3 keyframes animations. Take a look at the final demo, in which we can see the heart and the shadow below it. And it has a zoom in and zoom out effect, which is achieved through CSS3 keyframe animations. For code, you can visit my GitHub account, where you can download the files or clone it. Now let's get started with the HTML structure. First, create the wrapper div element. Inside that, create the container div element, and inside the container div element, create the heart div element. Now let's open this in the browser. Now include the styles in the head section of the HTML structure. Now reset the default margin and padding values of all HTML elements to 0. And add the background color to the body. Now place the wrapper in the center of the browser. Set its position value to absolute, which is related to the body. And top value equals to 50%, left equals to 50%. To eliminate the negative margins, use a transform property. And this property has a translate method. By using this, we can remove the negative margins. Now set the position value of the container to relative. Now let's create the square box using hard development. Set its width and height to 80 pixels and background color. See here we can see the box square box exactly in the center. Now by using the before and so before and after pseudo elements, let's create two circles. One circle we have to place in the left side and the other circle in the top. Before and after pseudo elements avoid us adding of the extra div element into the HTML structure. To activate the before and after pseudo elements, we have to use the content property. Position value relative. Sorry, position value absolute which is related to the container. Background color. For now, I will set the background color to black. And width 80 pixels. Height 80 pixels border radius 50% so here we can see the circle now place it exactly in the left side this half of the circle should be in the left side top value 0 and left value minus 40 pixels which is half of the width see here the half of the circle is exactly placed on the on the square box. Now by using the before pseudo after pseudo element, let's create another circle and place it in the top. The top value equals to minus 40 pixels which is half of the height left, left value equals to 0 now let's change the black color to the 
hot color now let's tilt the hot position a bit so that it looks proper transform property has a rotate method now rotate the hard by 45 degrees see now it's in a perfect position now let's add the shadow to the heart by using the before pseudo element to the container let's add the shadow as i mentioned earlier before and after pseudo elements avoid as adding of the extra element into the html structure Here for background color, I am going to use the radial gradients. Gradient. For now, I am going to use the black and green colors. Later, I am going to change the colors. width 125 pixels height 30 pixels see here we can see the shadow now let's bring that above the heart by using the zedding uh, zedinx now place it below the heart see here we can see the black color which is starting from zero and the green is spreading entirely now change the colors replace the black color with the hot color and replace the green color with transparent transparent See here we can see the shadow. Now let's add the animations. See here we can see the zoom in and zoom out effect. First let, let's add the zoom in and zoom out effect to the heart. Later we can add for the shadow. Now let's use the keyframes. And set a value to it. Pulse. And here this keyframe is going to have the five transitions from 0 to 100. See here we can see the five transitions from 0 to 100. To achieve the zoom in and zoom out effect, I am going to use the scale method of the transform property. At 0%, 0%, the heart's size will be 1, which is 1, and then it's going to decrease by. 0 0.2 next 1 0 0.8 so this gives us the zoom in and zoom out effect now let's add this animation to the heart to the heart development animation pulse this is the animation duration which is 4 seconds and linear infinite and the animation effect takes place infinite times 
use the transition property for getting the smooth effect. See here we can see the zoom, on, zoom in and zoom out effect but the heart is getting tilted so we have to uh, restrict it by using the rotate method and here this rotate method makes the heart static so that it will be in one position see here we can see the heart is in correct position and the zoom in and zoom out effect let's add the zoom in and zoom out effect for the shadow here change the name to grow and remove the rotate method see here the pulse and the grow animations has the same five transitions and the scale value even the scale values are same now add the uh, transition and the animations to the shadow change the name to grow See here now we can see the zoom in and zoom out effect for both heart and the shadow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.